Hello everyone, I'm Chen Junfeng of CGT and welcome to Ningbo. Where I'm standing now here is a prevalent pavilion of CEC Expo. We know the CEC Expo has wrapped up just a week ago, but here we have a permanent pavilion to demonstrate all the fine products from, China, from uh, Central and Eastern European countries in China. And uh, bes uh, next to me is Ma Xue of Zhejiang TV. She's been reporting this expo. So tell us about uh, this expo a little bit, Ma Xue. Mm -hmm. Hello, guys. I'm Ma Xue from ZTV News. Well, actually, I've been a reporter here for more than a week, and I have witnessed the opening of the second China CEC Expo, an international consumer goods fair. It's really amazing because we have seen various uh, dialogue and conferences being held here, and we've established very cooperative mechanism between China and CEC. And also, I'd like to give you a special hint about the delicious and adequacies on the China and CEC. That is a special bite, a sweet bite, on the taste from Ningbo and also CEC countries in the old bond, what we call Lao Wan Tan now. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, great. Here we see very strong atmosphere of this exotic feeling in this uh, pavilion. Look up a little bit. We can see all the uh, 16, 17 countries uh, of CEC's uh, maps. Yeah, different being, colors. Yeah, mm -hmm. being, being linked around here with different threads. threads I mean, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, it seems uh, it's trying to tell a story of how these countries are linked together. Uh, their brilliant culture yeah, and their traditions. Yeah, their culture, their people. They're similar, but they're identical. They're very different. Every co country speaks their own language, right? Yeah, you know, they're so diversified, you know, in nationalities or culture, but they're all linking together with these threads. Yeah, That yeah. means, yeah, we live on the same planet. We share the same destiny. It's interesting that... Uh, people in Poland speak Polish. Uh -huh. uh, people in Bulgaria speak Bulgarian. Bulgarian. Uh, but they are very distinct. But you can, you can see that they share some of their culture together. Some, yeah, of, this, some of the patterns are yeah, similar, right? Music, uh -huh. different animals, different uh, uh, sewing patterns. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Uh -huh. yeah. And there are national animals, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, today we're going to take you to different booths of selected countries to demonstrate uh, their fine products. Yeah, we're a sea of CEC products. Yeah. Why mm -hmm. don't you take us to the first destination, Marshall? Yeah, I can't wait to do that. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Well, we'll first go to the Czech Republic Pavilion of Crystals. Yeah, wow. Czech is very famous for its crystal product, right? Uh -huh. It's been hundreds of years since they produced these uh, wow, products. Wow, you see this great celadon is the national treasure of this whole pavilion. It's nice specially designed chandelier. for this yeah, pavilion. Nice yeah, chandelier. This chandelier is a bit oh, it's so heavy, this crystal. A bit heavy, right? Yeah, uh -huh. very heavy, actually. Actually, you can see there are different shades of color from yeah, light pink. Earlier, we were told yeah, to by purple. the shop system that such a pavilion, uh, so a chandelier, in this pavilion would cost about 2 million yuan. Yeah, 2 yeah, million yuan. Because wow. it's all hand craft. Um, yeah, it reflects see, lights very well. You know, carved up people and different angles show different shades of light. Mm, uh, wow. It says on the introduction, it gives you a feeling, a sweet, romantic feeling of entering uh, Alice Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, Wonderland, yeah. My favorite fairy tale. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah, this. Imagine uh, it's in my bedroom, you know, every, uh, open but my you door. Need a, yeah, you need coming. a big house to hold this. You need yeah. a very big house to hold this. Yeah, I'm princess. Yeah, Marsha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apart from this very luxurious. Yeah, I'm going uh, out of my dream. Yeah. Okay. Very luxurious products. <laughs> let's of go to crystal. some practical, maybe. Yeah, let's go to some to stuff that we can use. use on daily basis. in it when you drink it it's like oh leave a bit of a drink underneath the cup yeah, yeah. always cup. more beautiful things to come yeah. fugger right but uh -huh. the fugger <laughs> is also uh, mixed up with some gold slice yeah right. so see we share some different culture but with similar wishes this is what this is fen jiu qi right distributor uh -huh. to see how you how much you drink yeah all equal during dinner mm -hmm. yeah everyone's got a fen jiu qi yeah and, you uh, won't make a bit 
This is very fashionable, very fashionable way to, to drink liquor, alcohol. Yeah. Wow. The but I guess this, this could be expensive too. I mean, this whole, you know, colorful set would cost About you... About 1,000? No, 5,800, wow. <laughs> almost uh, 6,000 yuan uh -huh. or $1,000. This is absolutely beautiful, but, but yeah, expensive but, too. Uh -huh. Let's see something more affordable for us. Yeah. I mean, this I was told earlier would cost uh, only oh, no. about. This is my world. Yeah. From 1,000 to 2,000. Yeah, this is about 75 yuan. This is affordable. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's, it's a bit light. It's very light. Mm -hmm. it good, it's good to be light because mm -hmm. you can feel the, the texture uh, of the wine in it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And it's melted in one piece. It really shows you the technique of this, uh, wow. you know, this, this, uh, this wear, this crystal wear. Uh -huh. It's one piece, not like two pieces molded together. Uh -huh. Let's show you the you, you texture. You do know it. Yeah, yeah. You, you I, I drink a little crystal, bit more. Right? It's good sound, right? Uh -huh. Again? It's like, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Clear music. 75 yuan per piece, so a bit more than $10 to start with. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's kind of thing. there are more selections, what's from 1,000 yuan to 2,000. And Chinese bread Almost 3,000, mm -hmm. yes. All, all these beautiful crafts that can put on your dinner table to lighten the dinner yeah, for you. Your you home, whole home style. Mm -hmm. Right? Muesli uh -huh. meat. Uh -huh. you know, because Chinese people now consume more and more animal based meat or plant based mm -hmm. uh, protein, you know, these high protein yeah. products which mm -hmm. improve your health. And a lot. actually, you know, besides all these tangible products we see here, there are also these, you know, uh, direct air flight and freight airlines from Ningbo to Budapest. Ah, to every Wednesday, every possible. Friday. Mm -hmm. From yeah, Ningbo to Budapest. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's being used for cargo transportation. Yeah, right? currently only for cargo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, when the pandemic eases a bit, we can see more people to people tra uh, yeah. transportation yeah. and communication. Yeah, maybe more and more your favorite food will come here from CEC. Great. Mm -hmm. Wow, lovely goats. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, did you drink goat milk or just milk? I'd like to try all, all kinds. I can try all kinds. I, mm -hmm. As long as it's nutrition, nutritious and protein based. I, I'm not focusing a lot on the high protein products. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, we got some uh, yeah, maybe nice is, wine here. Yeah, your world now. <laughs> full of wine, different wines. Hungarian. Uh -huh. Hungarian pavilion. pavilion. I see your, your, your eyes shine with liquor, you know. I mean, uh, yeah, coming to my world. 
having a place to install so many wine are a dream of many men, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but there are different kinds. We maybe find, oh. you know, our director oh, yeah, to have an introduction. Uh -huh. So if you have to choose of liquor, what kind of liquor would you want to introduce to us? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. 量都是比较一个大的一个 然后可能讲起来比较长一些，啊，它要比这个法国的苏代要早一百多年，嗯，啊，所以你们这里的贵腐酒是比较有历史的，然后也赢了很多的这个奖项。对对对对对，那它的价格比法国的那个贵腐
呃，前前心后背都感觉暖暖的啊、哦嗯，第一感觉马上就会体现，就很有能量。对对对对，哦、马上马上就会体现出来。嗯，那就这是长期喝，每天少喝一点这种感觉。对，这个等于说餐前餐后啊、呃，饮用一些就可以。好的，嗯。不适合那种长期去那个暴饮是吧？对,对,对,对，嗯，当然任何酒都不适合暴饮。好了，谢谢您，谢谢您，我们再继续看一下。好 ，OK。Next we'll go to another pavilion and Marshall has prepared for for us some、uh, nice surprise. OK, here we come. Wow. <laughs> oh, you look very different now. Very cute. Already waiting for you. Yeah, you yeah. You look like firefighter now. A fire lady, huh? Uh huh. Heroin, right? Yeah. Yeah, coming to rescue with me. <laughs> I mean, is this is this heavy? Is this how do you feel? Yeah, it? kind very kind warm. of heavy. Uh, very hot. Okay. Very uh huh. Hot. So you can imagine our firefighters in the fire. And this helmet is heavy too, right? Yeah. Mm. So, so oh. tell us about this product. So wh where this product made from? Uh, and it's made from Poland. From and Poland. Like, yeah, with the highest safety standard and even meeting the standard of EU. Uh huh. And you know, all these are special materials, especially for the helmet for this cover. It can tolerate. It can fight against the flame of 1,300 Celsius. You know, for 15 seconds. And really good quality. So you know, previously we see all these kind of consumer goods like food and beverages, but for this, we actually see this. Safety facilities and equipments from CEC. Yeah, it's an industrialized products, right? I mean,、mm -hmm. all this,、uh, you know, ne you need some capability of producing this kind of products, and、uh, this <laughs> helmet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, do you know how?、Uh, are they、It's、expensive? Full of power now. Yeah.、Mm. Are they expensive? Uh, is that expensive? <laughs> Maybe for three thousand. Mm -hmm. For this、um, sweater and、uh, for for this whole equipment will cost about ten thousand. Okay. Earlier、mm -hmm. we were told that such a helmet would cost between three、uh, thousand to five thousand、uh, RMB,、mm -hmm. and this brand has sold already about ten thousand pieces、uh, in China,、mm -hmm. uh, providing to private companies and also. Uh, mm. Fabricates and those、uh, yeah, fire yeah, firefighting yeah firefighting institutions in China yeah, yeah. yeah to further protect our heroes. Great,、mm -hmm. uh, it's good to see that these、uh, CEC companies not just uh, selling uh, eating stuff and drinking stuff to China,、yeah. but also these、uh, industrial light, light industry products、mm -hmm. in China.、Mm -hmm. yeah. There are also countries of different manufacturing hub.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see all these different. Types of products, and this even got yeah, some you, you, you flashlights see, on. Yeah, you see the label. Oh,、uh, they're yeah, special design for us. It's already been OEM'd. Uh huh.、Yeah. This has got a on the forehead a flashlight. Yeah, maybe for rescue in the mountains or in dark light. Fire and heat resistance, so it resists heat、uh -huh. and fire. Yeah. yeah, and also electrically insulated. Yeah.、Mm. Ah, so you already feel safe. Putting these on, huh? Yeah, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Very professional. Uh huh. Good to see that. Okay, we're、we'll、moving、so、on to the next you, location. Yeah, bring the audience to more guys.、Yeah, I'll meet you again later on. Uh huh. I、yeah. chase you after. Yeah. So what I can see that is uh, China uh, export a lot of products to these CEC countries. Also imports、uh, many products. What China? Sells to these countries and many machine machinery products, electronic products like phones, communication products,、uh, spare parts,、uh, car parts, and what China buys from CEC countries are some, you know,、uh, steel,、um, iron products, and uh, these uh, farming products and raw materials, and also these、uh, consumer products. You see lots of wine because absolutely these countries. Have、uh, very long drinking culture, and also these、uh, food, you know, very natural food,、uh, very environmentally friendly food. That's what Chinese consumers like.、Uh, also, I think the, the Chinese consumption trend has become very、uh, interesting now because many Chinese consumers like to consume high quality products. They used to pursue like tier one, a top notch. Fine products, world famous products, but now people slow down a little bit and look at prices and look at、um, the style a lot, and also they put a lot of personal preferences into these products. So CEC countries, Central and Eastern European 
uh, countries' products really fall into this category because many of the uh, products are family made, um, so they produce in small quantity, but very, very friendly in natural, very friendly uh, in producing high quality, very efficient, but they cannot produce large quantity. So Chinese uh, consumers may like this kind of products because they guarantee uh, high quality, environmental friendly, but also a personal um, uh, style in it. And uh, we can see this area is a special area for uh, the most popular products from Central and Eastern European countries. Each country presents their very specialized products. We see some uh, liquor here, some cosmetic uh, products. Well, these cosmetic products may not have a big brand like the Western European uh, French brand, uh, English or Italian brand, but they are equal in quality, equal in the ingredients. Uh, they just don't do much uh, uh, advertising on them. You can also see these uh, uh, fine packed food, IPA, beer, drinks, natural water, juice. I think after experiencing these products, Chinese people, Chinese consumers will gradually uh, build up confidence uh, in those countries and also consuming a product from a country also help you understand the culture of this country also help you build a bridge uh, between the two countries and uh, help you understand this country's culture its way of life its history its environment and I want to demonstrate to you is this a uh, trade uh, in, uh, information between Ningbo and uh, CEC countries Ningbo is a very important port in East China. It's been one of the first uh, group of ports, more than a, uh, about a double, uh, more than a dozen ports in China who uh, opened to the world in the 80s. So it's one of the first places in China who built links uh, with these European countries. And uh, Ningbo's strategy is that many of its importers have very strong personal relations and understandings uh, of these uh, Central and Eastern European countries. When these countries produce uh, family-owned business products, they are sold to Ningbo importers. So these importers understand these countries a lot. And when these countries build up a expo in China, they chose Ningbo as their permanent uh, residence uh, for this expo. So that's why we are here in Ningbo in this expo's pavilion, pavilion with so many demonstrations of uh, products. We can see that uh, Ningbo imported 3.7 billion yuan of products from CEC countries in 2020, while well, at the same time, X times of that amount to uh, 25.7 billion yuan of products because Ningbo is a very important port. And uh, many products, although not produced in Ningbo, came through Ningbo's port uh, through freight or air or train. Uh, to the CEC countries. Let's move on to another place and we'll introduce you some very, in, uh, very, very interesting, smell nice and uh, uh, looks nice products. Oh, here we also see some uh, amber, you know, amber products made into jewelries. Okay, I'm Asia. Hi. See you again, Japan. Bulgaria Pavilion with lots of roses. Yeah, welcome our customer. Yeah, you look like a rose today. Tell us about <laughs> Thank this you. place. Yeah, it's really romantic. We are now coming to Bulgarian Rose Pavilion. And, um, wow, you see all the walls of roses. And from the front, we have the whole map of Bulgaria. So, Director, why won't you tell us more about the locations and maybe the roses traditions? Mm. Sure. And uh, the dark line, you say, is a uh, mountain balcony and uh, the other mountain with dark is a uh, mountain star of Lanina. in the middle you can see the rose valley oh, rose valley yeah. which is uh, famous around the world yeah and uh, around the rose valley all the way down is the black sea it's black sea and uh, with uh -huh. rose valley there is the best environment and best uh, condition for the so I understand yeah. it. It's surrounded by the Black Sea, 
and also two, two mountains. mountains. So, so Hume and uh, sunshine and ah. uh, all of the other conditions, mm -hmm. also soil as well, mm -hmm. is the best uh, suitable, best place suitable for the rose growth. Okay. So what kind of rose products uh, does this Bulgarian uh, place uh, produce? Actually, the main product that we're producing is the rose oil. Rose oil. And rose oil. Is also uh -huh. the flower water. This side? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and rose water, rose right? Rose oil. Uh -huh. rose, rose oil and okay. ro with uh, rose oil well. mask. Yes. yes, Bulgarian rose. Ah, yeah. Super effect of brightening and uh, tightening your skin. Oh, <laughs> so I look, my skin will look brighter and tighter with this oh, on. Of course, yeah. you know, getting the moisture. You know, maybe tonight you can have this kind of mask to enjoy I'd like the laser. To, yeah. mm -hmm. It's got long history, uh, since nineteen forty-eight. Ah, oh, mm. indeed. More than 70 years of history. So the company uh, you, you Yes, at. and I think this is the oldest company in Bulgaria for the wow. uh, rose product. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So all these More are hand-picked roses from the Rose Valley, right? Yes, the fresh rose. Wow. The fresh rose petal. Mm -hmm. I see the rose water here. Yeah. Why don't you... Yeah, yeah, let's <laughs> try Have a, a try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Camera? <laughs> wow. How do you feel? Oh, it's quite strong flavor, right? Yeah, but it's natural, natural fragrance of roses. Very and, refreshing. And yeah. yeah, feeling lightened and rejuvenated. It's like someone threw a power of flavor on my face. And you must catch it, right? <laughs> <laughs> All mine. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, so actually, you know, this is not only for, you know, pure skincare, but also to soothe your heart and mind, you know, helping to enjoy your life. Oh, they do have a... Uh, uh, the rose species called the Bulgarian rose. Dema Damascus yeah, Damas rose. Damask mm. rose mm -hmm. or Bulgarian rose. Mm -hmm. And it's, they look a bit it's, different, it's, right? It's bit very As, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, the roses we've seen every day. You it's know? a bit purplish. It's a bit pinkish. You know? uh -huh. It's not like red. It's pink. Uh -huh. you know? Its texture is a bit different. Various kind yeah. of petals, you know, integrate together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must look live. Uh, when, they, when they're live, they must look very, very uh, cute, I guess. Yeah. What I saw yeah, here like is... like my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it's, oh, you know, this is special design for men. Oh, for Rose men. Rose for men. True, true men care. <laughs> I, yeah, you know, so I'm surprised they, they yeah, also have some... A must for you. ...care for men. <laughs> true men care, rose, bamboo, prebiotic. Uh -huh, without with those bamboo. Shower gel and uh -huh. shave gel. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Men. Okay. Uh -huh. To further soothe. Mm -hmm. and then Shampoo we... too. Mm -hmm. Ladies joy. Oh, maybe on this one. Wow, you know, very good design. Healing so soap, sponge. sponge. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because half of it is sponge. Yeah, you see and the two layers? And half of it is, is soap. Mm -hmm. So you soap you first, then you yeah. use sponge to clean it. And it's all together. I've never seen anything soup. like this before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's cute. Reflects really quality and good design of designer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. I love the cream. Day, day cream, cream and night cream. Bulgarian rose. Yeah. Actually, you know, cream. you know, their bottles and packages look kind of simple, right? You know, and they're yeah. not very kind of um, made, very much decoration. I mean, if, if you if you see any of those. Uh, mm -hmm. French products. They mm -hmm. all use these French characters that you don't really understand. If you feel, oh, it's so exotic, so expensive. But mm. for well, the why Bulgarian... Why you put some on your face? Let me see. Yeah, yeah. To, to hydrate your <laughs> feel. Feel the moisture in. <laughs> you, you need to be like this. Mm. <laughs> and and to little pat pat. Yeah, perfect advertiser now. <laughs> I mean, Nimbus, Nimbus, uh, Air is already mm -hmm. very wet, so <laughs> it's getting even wetter. But yeah, when you yeah. when you go back to Beijing, you may need it. I mean, these mm -hmm. products, is, you know, the design is just very simple, but mm -hmm. the product's good. I think it's there's a strategy, you know, it's like family business. Yeah. Uh, it's for common people to use, so they don't really charge uh, that much uh, money that mm -hmm. those uh, very fancy French brands would charge. Yeah, they build this kind of amity to us through low prices. <laughs> Yeah. Reasonable prices. But they're of really high quality. Mm. They even have this Bulgaria Rose Festival. You know, see? These people wearing these roses, I just demonstrated you. Um, ah, this, uh, you know, pink 
festival? Pink roses. Mm -hmm. you know, they just have so many roses. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do it in the first Sunday every June. Oh, since the night, since the six re regular festival. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So it's been. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh my God! They have three hundred years of uh, rose oil production yeah, history. Yeah, they cherish this queen of yeah. flowers so much. So they have lots of uh, history and mm -hmm. tradition, um, and industrial power and produce rose-related products. Mm -hmm. Very, very friendly to ladies. What kind of this kind of beverages? Maybe alcohol-free. Oh, that. it's good for me. Yeah, I won't get drunk. <laughs> Rose drinks. Yeah, elixir. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they put drink, uh, they put uh, oil product, uh, rose oil products on their body creams mm -hmm. and water, and also they produce drinks. Yeah. And face masks. And maybe this honey. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, they all look so natural and original. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's I think that's one of the characteristics of the CEC products. Indeed. Very environmentally friendly. Very natural. Uh, they don't really look fancy with those uh, designs mm. yeah. or mm. brand names. Uh, I think many Chinese consumers would fancy that, would, would, would like yeah, that. Yeah. For me, I'd be less is more and good. I like this kind yeah, of design. It's good mm -hmm. for its value, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay extra luxury or branding prices. Mm -hmm. for them, you know? Yeah, we focus more on the quality, on okay. the essence of these products. And that's next our destination would be the Last stop, right? Yeah, yeah, our Poland pavilion. Poland pavilion. Yeah, Poland's a rather big country, right? Yeah. It's got great history. It's got great music. That's what I learned. The Polish mm -hmm. pianist and music uh, yeah, composers. Yeah, really rich fun culture. Yeah, yeah. Poland is also famous for its milk products, dairy products. Yeah, that's milk, food. Yeah. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. uh, let's get to see. Yeah, I do yeah, see maybe some there's milk more. products. Milks, pure milk. <laughs> You like pure milk? Pure milk. Uh -huh. What's this? Ah, maybe this bathing bath bowls? bomb. Ah, uh -huh. bath Bath bombs. Uh -huh, so bath if you throw into a bath tub, it's like a bomb. Yeah, and different bubbles will <laughs> show up. Different bubbles mm -hmm. will come up. Mm -hmm. I've got a smaller one. You've got a big one. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe there will be a little octopus inside. Oh, even they have a toy inside. So mm -hmm. when you're in a bath tub, you can play with the toy. Yeah, right? octopus or a little yeah. duck. <laughs> And you know, actually, you know, for people like me, if I have the conditions and time, I prefer bath rather than shower oh. because, yeah, I can enjoy my time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Take it slow. Quality lifestyle. Yeah, that's our Z generation. Yeah. Z generation. <laughs> um, oh, they have all kinds of uh, yogurt. Uh huh. Yeah. And cereal. Mealy feely. What's special about the yogurt and honey? Mm -hmm. Honey. Yes. Mm -hmm. This look cute. Oh, Maybe you can carry a little bag, yeah. For you, yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe for your loved ones, you carry this and show your honey heart. You are my sweetheart. <laughs> Black coffee, muesli. Ah, rice cakes. I haven't tried that. Rice cakes? Yes. Ah. So light. Yes. Uh huh. Crispy. Yeah, you imagine you, you have a Czech glass of Polish milk and then try some crispy. Biscuits from Poland. They, wow. they are quite famous. Yeah, that's uh, in a typical Chinese kind of easy products. morning. And these pots. What's this? These clay wow. pots. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. kind of oh, they're handmade. They're natural flowers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And butterflies. See the butterflies. Yeah, see, handmade in Poland. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Handmade in Poland. Oh, wow. They even have signatures of the, the author, I guess, the, mm -hmm. the producer. Mm -hmm. And they're different Careful. for different kinds of yeah, utility. It's a whole set, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got into these special shapes. It's like a maple tree shape. Yeah, I know, because Poland has various kind of berries, like blueberries, wax berries. So they like to print berries on the plate. Ah. Mm -hmm. Handmade in Poland. Yeah, I stood it in my small room and you know, yeah. a little it's afternoon a, tea every day. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great lift of uh, quality life. Yeah. What's this for? Nice. It's maybe for milk? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely, truly. Yeah. Here oh, we go. So, yeah. Uh, we got our shop owner here. Why don't we uh, talk to oh, our shop owner? Hello. 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 Hello
果酒，是不是？对，这个是波兰的苹果酒。哦，看一看。哦、oh, ，made of apples。Apple, apple。对，这个是有百分之九十九点九的那个苹果汁。哇、wow. 呃。嗯，是。Almost pure, about ninety-nine point nine percent of apple juice. Pure apple juice. Proudly made of polished apples. 嗯哼。这里写着二零一五是什么意思呀、啊？呃，这个是二零一五年那个酿的。哦、oh, ah, ，这么长时间了。They're made in 2015, so six years from now. Semi dry, 还有半干的。对，有半干的，还有半甜的。啊，有什么区别吗？呃，这个口感不同。半干的会就是它在就是酿的时间会稍微呃短一点，会有一点点甜味，就是半甜。然后半干的话，就时间再长一点。嗯哼，那这个颜色怎么会就是不一样呢？呃，这个跟橡木桶储存的时间。So they have dry and they have dry wine. 苹果酒也是放橡木桶里。也也会放着酿的，对，一样的。哦，就很认真的去做这个酒。And all dry wine will take time a little bit longer. 就像就像那个葡萄酒一样，是很认真的去做的。对对对。嗯哼。哦，它的原料和辅料就只有两种，就是苹果汁和二氧化硫。对，二氧化硫它主要是呃抗那个就是沉淀。哦，抗沉淀。对。那所有的呃葡萄酒，所有的果酒里面都会有这个成分。嗯，对对对。它实际上就是、嗯、呃纯正的葡呃苹果。所以就是百分之百的苹果汁。嗯、呃，实际上就是苹果汁。嗯，哇。呃，这个在夏天的时候放冰块，呃、嗯，喝非常舒服。嗯，这个是不是还蛮受欢迎的呀？嗯、呃，对。今天早上有个客户，他就直接炫开来喝了一口以后。他就很简，价格也没问，就说来这个来一箱。嗯，您到您到您到这边来，我们看一下这个。您到这边来，我们来看一下这个大瓶的。So customer come here and have a little taste of this bottle, and then oh, I'll take a whole. 哦，那这大瓶的跟那个就是一样的，是吧？ Very popular product. 对对，这个大瓶的也有半干和半甜的，嗯，嗯是一样的，也是有百分之九十九点九的苹果汁酿的。嗯嗯。波兰是那。在世界上，波兰苹果是比较有名的， oh, 而且是前三大苹果出产国之一。哇哦！那所以你们的酒卖到很多地方了。Poland is the three largest exporters of apples in the world. Uh, and their apples are their golden name. 这一瓶差不多卖多少钱呢？这个一瓶就是我们一般是卖一百多块钱。嗯。活动的时候有时候还不到一百块，就几十块钱。主要是为了想把那个中东国家好的东西给大家分享。嗯哼。So for this kind of bottle, it costs about um, I mean, seventy to one hundred grand. 对，这个是两百五十毫升装的。两百五十毫升，对。呃，这个很适合，就是我们出去郊游啊这些的时候，哎，一人喝一瓶。度数不低的，这个十一十一度 eleven degrees is a quite strong alcohol. It's almost like wine. 早上一个女孩子，她咕噜咕噜喝，因为她口感非常好。他就咕嘟咕嘟喝了，过一会儿脸有点微微红了。他说：“哎呀，这个也能上头呀！” uh, yeah. <笑> Got addicted and never mentioned that. Got drunk by drinking apple wine. 对，其实 apple apple 也是非常的 strong.、嗯、yeah.、Mm -hmm. 所以荷兰就是波兰，它是其实有挺多的这个呃农产品哈，还有一些加工的这个产品。是的，波兰是农业国，农产品发展非常。有感。这个是来自波兰的酸奶。嗯、哎，我们这个酸奶是用纯生牛乳，呃，的比例含量是达到百分之八十八点九几，嗯、就是算度数是，就是乳含量非常非常的高。嗯、一般就很多酸奶它是用奶粉啊这些做起来的，嗯、但营养价值就没那么好。对、哦、对。第二个，它的就是我们这个酸奶的口感啊，还是有点适应了中国人的口感，因为波兰人他其实呃，欧洲的人他其实喝酸奶是走极端的，要么就，呃，糖都不加，就是纯酸的，非常酸。我们中国人也是受不了。还有一种呢，就是糖加的非常多。那我们是要求就是一定要适合中国人的口味，稍微加一点点糖就是原味。所以这个酸酸奶在国内非常受欢迎。Yeah, so this kind of yogurt is really popular in China. It, it, it's made from 88.9% of fresh milk, and its flavor is being modified to, to favor to, you know, Chinese customers. Uh, I see some 
这还有中国字呢 ，some Chinese characters on this。啊，这个包装是呃，在中国，另外就是外、呃、礼盒是在中国做的。其实它原装箱是白色的，因为我们中国人喜欢送礼，而且就是原装箱一箱是十二瓶，一瓶一升装。太多了，太重，拎不动、嗯，所以我们重新组了一个礼盒，五瓶装的，啊、uh、哈 -huh. ，就比较方便。啊哈 ，So this is specially customized for our Chinese customers。必加。To make it more convenient for you to carry。对，这个是我们翻译成中文叫 Vida。Vida 必加，嗯哼。对，必加有。Oh, you know, Milk Secret. I like the name. 是的，是的。我尝一下吧。可以，因为我不能尝酒，但我可以尝，但我可以尝这个 yogurt。Yeah, I drink for this hungry。就很多人就可能呃纯牛奶不能喝，喝了肠胃会消化不好，会那个打嗝胀气。但是酸奶不会，因为酸奶里面还有保加利亚乳酸杆菌这些，对肠胃比较有益的，就可以促进肠胃蠕动，促进吸收的一些。Very good for digestion and stomach。好浓啊，这个。啊哈，一个 furious。Pureness, right? Because we have a lot of water. It's quite thick. It's almost like drinking cheese. Ah ha ha, I know. It's a bit like a Chinese feeling. This is so thick. It's thick and smooth. Just drink it and drink it. Yeah, like your food. Many friends drink two liters, but they can't drink it. But drink our sweet milk is constantly drinking. It's just drinking it and drinking it. Yeah, many children like this. Mm -hmm, because it's, you know, mix this kind of sour and um, sweet flavor together is um, maybe more tasty than pure milk. This is how much? This is how much we sell for 7 cents. This week, we have a big event in the Chinese Chinese. They are now currently on sale by Yuan. Yeah, bring some. Yesterday, we drank a bottle, and today, in the morning, we bought three bottles and three bottles. Wow. And we brought to Shanghai, so we brought it directly. Very good. These are very popular. Let's look at some other products. We just saw that here is a bomb. This 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 is a bomb. Yes, we're both like the lot. This is a bomb. Yes, because children, sometimes, they like to play with water, but they don't want to play with water. But when they have this bomb, they like to play with water. And we have the bomb ball, which is called the bomb ball. When we put it in, we can see that it will suddenly be a surprise. It means that it will suddenly be a surprise. 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 要求妈妈，我要洗澡。Yeah, I want to take a bath too. <笑>所以这个是给小孩的。对，这个是对。给小孩的，对，嗯、这个是可以给成人的。这个是成人的，成人里面呢，就是含精油量会比较高一点。那么我们用这个泡泡，就是泡泡球洗了以后啊，皮肤会非常非常的光滑，嗯、就特别细腻光滑。其、嗯、实因为里面含有精油，而且。So these two kinds of actually, this is for small kids or children like me, and this is for adults. You know, for this, you know, when you throw it, normally children like to play with water, but they don't like to take a bath. But now they can enjoy the bubble bath, and for this, it boasts more essence oil, you know, to soothe and whiten my skin. Perfect Great. choice. Great. Thank you. Fascinating products. 好的，谢谢，谢谢。好的。Okay. Thank um, you. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, now. Yeah, we need mm -hmm. to wrap up a little bit because mm -hmm. we're closing to one hour live streaming yeah, time. Yeah, all good things come to an end, but this permanent affiliation would never end. I mean, Chinese people get to know CEC countries in many interesting ways. Uh, we used to know these uh, uh, former Soviet Union countries, but now they are very independent countries on their own. Mm -hmm. And many of these uh, countries are very good in playing football. You know. Uh -huh. the, the Euro Cup is Euro Cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see mm -hmm. Croatia, we see uh, North Macedonia, we mm -hmm. see uh, all these Eastern European and Central mm -hmm. European Hungary. countries. Also mm -hmm. Poland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just played. Mm -hmm. uh, very good in football. Uh -huh. They they very. Haven't sleep for days, right? Uh, I I slept a little <laughs> bit. Uh, they play very strongly against those very strong football countries in mm -hmm. in, in, in Western Europe. So Indeed. that's how mm -hmm. many Chinese football fans get to know them. But mm -hmm. these regions are also increasingly important trade partners for China. I did some research. Combining all these 16 and 17 countries together, mm -hmm. there's a total population of 123 million. Uh -huh. And their annual per capita GDP is above one 
uh, above uh, fifteen thousand U.S. dollars. Wow, that figure That's is relatively high. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. higher than mm-hmm. China's per capita GDP, which is around uh, ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars. So you think it this way, it the CEC country is like a market combined uh, top ten cities in China. Mm-hmm. Uh, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, and plus other maybe five. Uh, top second tier cities. Mm-hmm. So all these cities, the population together, creates a very big suitable market for China mm-hmm. to do trade and investment. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the the bilateral relationship is also has been quite stable and friendly. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, Ningbo has done a tremendous job mm-hmm. in, co- in 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 cooperation in facilitating the cooperation mm-hmm. between China and CEC countries. Nimbo is a big port. Nimbo yeah, is. Yeah, we uh, have this kind of geographical advantages. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, Nimbo Im- Zhoushan Port. Importers mm-hmm. uh, uh, have built up personal relations mm-hmm. with those exporters in CEC countries, mm-hmm. so they are bringing all these fine products uh, to China. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And actually, the other day I interviewed with some foreign guests and exhibitors of this expo, and you know they all say that. Choice, and this is the first choice for China to import CEC goods because this is Ningbo. This is a place of openness and innovation. And also further, um, they looking into the future. There will be more cooperation and communications between China and CEC.、Mm. Great. So today we wrap up this、uh, little tour among this uh, uh, permanent pavilion of CEC Expo in Ningbo, and、uh, we are part of a bigger program. Called the Trillion Yuan Cities series in China, Ningbo is our first stop, and my colleague and I、uh, are going to tell you more stories about Ningbo, their success stories, and great prospects in the future. Thank、mm-hmm. you for watching. And you can miss it. Thank you. See you again.